Hello everyone, my name is Will Carmack and I recently worked on The Boys. Do you know where we can watch The Boys season two? O online? No, Amazon Prime. And in that dope promotional piece, I became most of the villains from The Seven. Except Starlight, who is a precious angel. Luckily for us, her powers are basically beginner level after effects. So you guys know the drill. We're about to learn Starlight superpowers. But first, let's hop into after effects. So we are gonna start with Starlight's glowing eyes effect. This one is actually really simple. If we watch our footage back, you can see the moments I would probably want my eyes to start glowing white when my eyes get really big. So my first step here is to head over to the tracker panel. And once we select that, we see an option for track motion. Let's click on that. And what shows up is our little motion tracker. A quick rundown of this tool. Motion tracking is basically looking for a point of high contrast, which is going to be my eye against the color of my skin. And if we come back to the tracker panel and hover our mouse over the little arrow, it says analyze forward. So we're gonna click that and it's just going to sequentially, frame by frame, track your eyeball. There may be a few points at which the mask is a little off. At this point, just kind of fix it. And now that we've got this nice tracking data, we need somewhere to put it. So if we come up out of our layers panel and into our composition, let's come up to layer, new, and null. A null simply acts as a controller. And a controller is a lovely place to put tracking data. So now that we've created our null, let's name this eyeball. And then if we go back into our layers panel and back to the tracking panel and we hit edit target, it gives us an option to select a layer and let's just select our eyeball. And now this null will follow where our eye is. And so the next step is actually creating an alpha mat, which when working with alpha mats, you usually create a solid layer. So let's come up to layer, new, solid, and I'm going to name this alpha mat or eye mat. I, for I forgot what I named it. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually make this layer invisible and come to the point in our timeline where my eye effect will start. I'm going to zoom in and basically mask out the black solid to fit my eyeball. And so now that we've got this circular mask around our eye, I want to link this black solid to the tracking data. So all we do is we grab the pick whip. And if we grab the pick whip on the layer that we just masked and drag it onto our eyeball track. Now if we make that black solid layer visible and watch it back, you can see that we've now tracked that black solid where our eye is going to be. So now for the alphabet part, we're going to duplicate our original clip and we're going to put that underneath of our black solid. If we come to the layers panel and click on this menu and select alpha mat, watch what happens when I solo this layer. Now, wherever the black solid was is just going to be a mask of the original layer. That's why we use an alpha mat, is because now we have this perfect mask of just our eye, but there's no animation or effects on our original clip. It's a good way to save ourselves some like animation and masking time. And now what this means is any effect that we apply to that eyeball alpha mat layer, it will only affect just our eyeballs. So this is perfect. We've now set ourselves up. We are now working with just the eyeball part parts of our video. So now if we come to our effects and presets tab and look up exposure, let's drag that onto our clip of the eyeball. I'm going to turn my exposure up a little bit and you can see what's happening. It's already making my eyes closer to white, just like starlights in the boys. And then I'm just going to come to the black solid layer where our mask is and I'm going to turn the expansion down and the feather up a little bit. This is gonna be different from your clip to mine, so there's no right or wrong way to do it. But at this point, once you animate your eyes to be white, it's up to you to go to the mask and feather it out and kind of keep it within the confines of your eyeball. And now, if we watch the whole thing back, we now have white eyes. But the problem is the track 
back isn't perfect the whole way through. So if I hit M twice on my keyboard, and once I create a mask path keyframe on my black solid layer, I'm just going to go through my entire timeline and create keyframes to fix any moments in time the track was a little off. So I'm just going to readjust my mask to fit my eye throughout the timeline. I've never once done this eye effect where you change the color of an eyeball and not had to fix the track a little bit. And now, of course, to finish off the effect, I'm going to move the mask from the black solid to my other eye. And since it's already tracked to my eyeball from over here, and in theory, our eyes move in the same direction, the track will apply to both eyes. So ending the eyeball effect, you're just readjusting the mask on the second eye. And if we want to add a little bit of flair to this, because sometimes our eyes kind of flicker a little in the show, on the layer where we're animating our eyes, if we hold down Alt and click on Exposure, it gives us an option to write in some code. If we write in wiggle 15 comma 0.7 or something along the lines of that, and we watch it back, you'll see that what's happening now is the exposure values are flickering. They're going up and going down 15 times per second. That's what those numbers stand for. And now if we watch it back, the eyes flicker, and I think that's a nice touch. And lastly, whenever her eyes seem to light up, I swear to God, sparks just come out of nowhere. And, and so we're gonna go to my ride or die footage website. It's not sponsored by the way, I just love them. Footagecrate.com. I pay for their services, but they've got a lot of free assets as well. And if you just type in Sparks, they have like hundreds of free and paid for options. So I'm just gonna download a Sparks effect. And if we drag that into After Effects, the moment her eyes kind of start to light up, it adds so much more starlightiness, starlight vibes to the scene. And to really sell an effect when you add a third party Spark Thing is I'm going to drag the glow effect onto it and turn the radius up a little bit. I will set this to screen so it's a little bit see-through and it blends into the scene more. And if we come up to layer, new and adjustment layer, we can create a mask following the sparks that go across the screen. And if we apply a curves effect to that mask, make it a little yellow and then crank that mask's feather up and you know, we do the mask keyframe, we animate it, all that jazz. We now have blended sparks into the scene with a glowing adjustment layer. So that is the special effects breakdown of how I did Starlight's glowing eyes effect. If you guys watch The Boys and wanna know more about the effects, I've done A-Train and Homelander so far, you'd watch them. And now I wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. Time to pay for my rent. All right, guys, from online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Did you guys know that Squarespace has award-winning, award-winning designer templates? I bet you didn't. You basically don't have to do a lot of work to look cool, because Squarespace makes looking cool super easy. Because let's say you're a photographer, a professional who wants to show off their work. You can use Squarespace's portfolio options and show off your photography and your work to the world. So use Squarespace Squarespace as a portfolio. And let's say that you work on an appointment-based schedule. With Squarespace scheduling, you can actually make your appointments and your availability public. So people can come to your Squarespace website and see when they can book your appointments. And reaching your audience has never been more efficient. Squarespace empowers people with creative ideas to succeed. So go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack to get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. The Boys is my favorite show, and I'm so happy I got to work with them. And of course, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.